Attorney General Garland, are you aware that because Loudoun County prosecutors confirmed that the boy who assaulted this young girl in Broad Run High School is the same boy who wore a skirt and went into a girl's bathroom, sodomized and raped a 14-year-old girl in a different Loudoun County High School on May 28th? Are you aware of those facts? The, the boy was, are you aware firmly, are you, Sorry, are you my, aware my, further that the boy was arrested and charged for the first assault in July but released from juvenile detention? It sounds like a state case, and I'm not familiar with it. I'm sorry. Do you agree with Loudon parents? You said it is not okay to allow a child that has been charged with a rape to go back into a school in that public school system. Again, I don't know any of the facts of this case, but, uh, but uh, the way you put it, it certainly sounds like I would agree with you. But FBI, I don't know the facts of the case. Is the FBI or the Department of Justice investigating the Loudon School Board for violating civil rights or under authority of, say, the Violence Against Women Act? Uh, I don't believe so, but I don't know the answer to that. I'd ask why not, because on June 22nd at a school board meeting in Loudoun County, Virginia, the superintendent, Scott Ziegler, declared in front of the father of the girl who had been raped that the predator, transgender student, or person simply does not exist. And that to his knowledge, we don't have any records of assaults occurring in our restrooms. When this statement bothered the father of the girl, I'm a father of a daughter, I believe you are too, sir, the girl who had been raped sodomized in the bathroom of a high school by a dude wearing a skirt, that father reacted. Now that father reacted by simply using a derogatory wor word. Would that statement have bothered you if your daughter had been raped, if somebody said that it didn't occur? Again, I, I don't know anything about the facts of this case, but derogatory words are not what my memorandum is about. Well, the victim's mother is heard on a cell phone video telling the crowd what happened. My child was raped at school, she said. Behind her, the victim's father is seen being arrested. Bloodied. This man, this arrest of a 48-year-old plumber, became the poster boy for the new domestic terrorism the Biden administration, the administration in which you serve, has concocted to destroy anyone who gets in the way. As the ranking member said, the National School Boards Association wrote a letter to the president citing Smith's case. We all know this to be true. Attorney General, do you believe that a father attending a meeting, exercising his First Amendment rights, and yes, getting angry, about whatever lies are being told about his daughter being raped in the school he sent her to be educated in, that this is domestic terrorism, yes or no? No, I do not think that parents getting angry at school boards for whatever reason constitute domestic terrorism. It's not even a close question. To be clear, even if there's a threat of violence, do you believe that it is domestic terrorism that the FBI has the power to target American citizens in local disputes because a father gets mad? Now, I'm not saying Mr. Smith did that. In fact, he didn't. I can tell you how I sure as hell would have reacted. Mr. Smith should be given a medal for his calm to be able to hold back his anger. Are you aware that Loudoun County failed to report this sexual assault according to state law? And are you investigating this? Again, I'm sorry. I don't know anything about this case. Are you aware that the Virginia General Assembly, run by Democrats, voted for and Democrat Governor Ralph Northam signed a bill allowing schools to refrain from reporting instances of sexual battery, stalking, violation of a protective order, and violent threats occurring on school property? Is the FBI investigating how this may conflict with the Violence Against Women Act or conflict with your own domestic terrorism uh, efforts? I don't know anything about the Virginia legislation. Do you agree with the following statement? As a father or as a cabinet member, Quote, you don't want parents coming into every different school jurisdiction saying that this is what we sh which should be taught here and that this is what should be taught here. Look, the Justice Department has no role with respect to what curriculum is taught in the schools. This is a matter uh, for um, local decision making and not for the Justice Department, and we are not in any way suggesting that we have any. I would note that that statement was by a Democratic uh, gubernatorial candidate in the Commonwealth of Virginia. I would note that there are a number of other issues of concerns to the Virginia, Virginia Department of Education, what's being taught there, and the, fat, the lack and the total failure of Loudoun County of reporting all of these incidents that have occurred in Loud Loudoun County public schools. I've got eight seconds left. Attorney General Garland, I sent a letter along with my colleague Thomas Massey regarding the incidents of January 6th on May 13th and on July 15th and have not gotten a response gentlemen's from the Department lady, of Justice. Gentlemen's you commit time to respond. Expired.